In this video, I show you how to install Shotcut for Windows 10. If this video helps you, please remember to like and subscribe. Hi everyone, my name is Joe, and in this video, we're gonna look over installing Shotcut for Windows 10. The first thing we're gonna do is just double check to see if our uh, machine is a 32 or 64 bit. You do that by coming onto the File Explorer, right clicking on this PC and going to Properties. Under System and System Type, you're going to see it says 64-bit or 32. For me, it's 64, so I'm going to follow the 64-bit installation. If you have a 32-bit here, then follow the 32-bit installation. Now I'm going to close those down and open up a web browser and search for Shotcut. The shortcut you're looking for is www.shotcut.org. And if we go to the home page, on the home page, you've got a big red click to download button, or alternatively, you've got the download up here. I'm gonna click the download just there. And then as you scroll down very slightly, you've got the Windows installation, which is what we're going over today. And there's four different files that you can choose from and two different sites that you can download them from. So 64-bit or the 32-bit, unless you uh, particularly know that you want it to be portable I would ignore the portable versions and just go straight for either the 32-bit or the 64-bit depending on your computer's requirements so for me 64 and as you see it asked me to run it straight away if you're on Google Chrome it might come up down in the bottom corner down here and now that's downloaded it's going to ask if we give it permissions to continue, click yes, and then I agree. You can obviously read it if you want to. The default location for me is program files shortcut. If you are on a 32-bit, that will probably say program files 86. Um, that's absolutely fine, unless you want it to go to a different location. You can click browse and go there. I'm gonna leave it in its default location and click next. Here we have a few options. So if you've got a older version of Shotcut, then you can remove the old versions. Uh, it's gonna install the default program files uh, and you can't unselect that. So just uh, understand that it's always gonna install the core files. And then you've got a couple of options here. If you remove Shotcut from the settings registry, then it's potentially gonna cause some problems. So most people would leave that in unless you know what you're doing. I would say, do not tick that option there. And then click install. Once that's completed, click close and you're now ready to go. So let's close down the web browser and find shortcut. It's in the recently added just up here. If not, it will be under R need to search for it sorry under s if you need to search for it and as it's loaded this is the first screen that you should see if you have any problems then please leave me a comment down below or give me an email i'll be happy to respond as you can see for me it's gone straight through easily um, there's no real kind of complicated parts of the setup the only options that you've got is removing it from the registry after the installation is complete. If you've ticked that box, then you may have problems. I would recommend you reinstalling it and seeing if not ticking that box would help. Apart from that, it should be fairly straightforward. So I hope this video has helped. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.